Let's start rolling some of the videotape. We were uh, in an area right outside of Koreatown. Um, there are a lot of Korean businesses in that area, and here we go. Once again, we got there just as this market was starting to be looted. Look at these people pouring out of the shoe store. you got to wonder what's going on in these people's minds. So I decided to try to chase some of them down and find out. What did you get? Shoes. Shoes? Yeah. Where do you live? Right here. Why did you do this? I don't know, because it's free. Because it's free? Yeah. Don't you know it's wrong? Nah. You don't care? I don't care. Why don't you care? Because I don't. Why not? You're stealing things. Yeah, I know. Why don't you care? I don't, because everybody's getting looked. Because everybody else is doing it. Yeah. Don't talk to me. What are you yeah. doing? Are you embarrassed? Nothing. Don't you know this is illegal? No, no. In the United States, how come they let that happen to the place? Why didn't they guard? Y'all running out of there with the food. I, I, don't, I got to do some shopping. I don't have any food in the house. <laughs> This poor lady, apparently she'd been walking to this store, this market store, for many, many years, and then she arrived today, and this is what she saw, and then like the rest of us, she couldn't believe it, although she was hard of hearing, and she obviously just stunned. This is, uh, you wonder what's going on inside these stores? Well, we took some shots here. Look at this. This is inside a Kenny shoe store, and, uh, you know, it's, it's party time. These people are smiling, as you heard. They don't care. They know it's illegal. They don't care. But I'll tell you what happened moments later. The Korean merchants and store owners who own that shopping complex, they, they were talking to me for a moment. They said they were fed up. They walked away. Next thing I knew, they walked out of their stores. Three of them were holding guns, and they just started firing at everybody and anybody. We were showing some of this to you live earlier. Then what happened, apparently a car full of some young black kids pulled up on the other side, and they started shooting back. You're going to start to see uh, what, what they noticed what was going on. They started shooting back, and uh, we were right in the middle of it. Uh, it. It all happened so quickly. To tell you the truth, I thought they were blanks at first. I couldn't believe that these guys had actually pulled out loaded guns, but they were. Their bullets flying all over. And here you, here you can see, this is where they see the cars pull up, and they start to shoot back. And they start to take cover realizing, I think, what they had started there, but uh, there was, there was just a, a simmering point, and they just, they boiled over. I mean, I saw it happen. I was talking to the gentleman. I saw it in his eyes. He ran away from me. Um, I thought he was going to give me his business card. I had asked for an interview. The next thing I knew, as I say, he came out with those guns. Uh, we got out of there as fast as we could, which wasn't fast enough, um, but we were okay. We didn't get hit. Nobody, nobody uh, in our crew got hurt. However, as we were pulling away, we heard that uh, some people there did get hurt, and as we were driving away, we saw some ambulances. Uh,